Yeah, just about 10, 15 minutes ago, Megan, the recommended evacuation from 1,000 feet of that intersection was canceled by Rainsville police. So it is safe for the people who live here uh, to come back outside of their homes. It's safe for the people who work here to start getting up and head to the office this morning because hazmat crews have got a pretty good handle uh, right on the other side of those cones uh, of what is left of that dangerous chemical over there. And you can see traffic flowing once again here this morning. They reopened this main intersection of 75 and 35 uh, just about an hour, hour and a half ago now. Uh, so traffic moving here once again in this busy, busy part of Rainsville after it was shut down for just about 24 hours from yesterday to today when that truck overturned, spilling that dangerous chemical, organic peroxide, onto the road. Now, if you ingest that chemical, you can have some pretty serious health issues, chest pains, trouble breathing. That is why that evacuation was in place. But this morning, hazmat crews say it's safe to come back. Fortunately, nobody hurt from this, no serious ingestions, and even the driver of that tractor trailer is doing okay. Uh, the mayor here in Rainsville, he knows this was a big headache for a lot of people who live in his town. He's just glad to know everybody's okay. We hate the inconvenience. For everybody but you know sometimes things like this happens and it's out of our hands it's out of our control we're doing the very best these these agencies are doing the very best they can to get this situated situation under control uh, and keep people safe that's the one of the main things is keeping everybody safe and so uh, we appreciate their patience and uh, we'll have it back to go in as quick as we can now, another live look here at the intersection of 75 and 35. You see traffic moving slowly by those cones, that shoulder. That is where the police chief says if you're coming through here, just uh, be a little extra careful when you're driving around that area. Crews are still cleaning up what's left on the road. He says they're hoping for everything to wrap up and business to be back to normal within the next couple of hours. That's the latest live in Rainsville this morning. Luke Hydash, 31 News.